Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Today I am going to start a new web application, student application with AngularJS and Firebase. This is my application. I have created it with AngularJS and Firebase and this is my Firebase NoSQL database and it is absolutely empty. If you have a, a Gmail account, you can create it anytime or you can create it anytime you like. So I am testing this web application. If I go to add some student here, Sikandar Rakib, Department Electrical and Electronics Engineering and Level 3. So student added successfully. I can go here and if I create another student, John Doe and Department CIC and Computer Science and Engineering and Level 1. And I am adding another student, Jamal Kabi, Department CSC and level 4. And if I go here, we can list the student that we entered earlier and we can edit. If I edit Tundo with CSC, I can change CSE and level 3 student update successfully. Here CSE and level 3. And if I change here and level 4, so we can update it here. So we can add a student by this application. We can update by edit button here. And now I'm going to delete something. Yes, it is deleting. So one more. Yes, it is deleting. Again, I am adding something like Samira Rakib and EE Kandir and Shakira Rakib, Department CSC and third year and i'm going back to my home page and if i search csc i can filter here and if i search samira i can search here if i search shakira i can get it here so i can use this filter search box to get specific data and if i filter electrical department i can get it here and if i filter csc i can get it here as well okay and this is all about the application i can uh, handle the crud operation That's, that means create data read data update data and delete data by this application so this is the demonstration of this application now now the time has come to jump into the work. I have created a folder here for my project student app and I copied the angular js starter pack that I created uh, in my last video if you are interested you can see this video how to create angular js starter kit so all that i have done i have just copied all the files within the starter kit into this folder and i have opened my project into sublime text this is my project and i am starting this project with a command window and i am starting the server and also i'm going to localhost okay this is the starting page now i'm going to command window and control c to get the command prompt now i'm going to install firebase by using bower bower install save firebase 3.9.0 okay i can check yes it is installed here again i am going to the command window and installing angular fire 2.3.0 okay so firebase and angular fire is installed here now i am checking firebase and angular fire okay now i am going to index file and i am copying some line from here bower components and firebase and firebase.js and another file is angular fire so Going angular fire, angular fire, 
and angular fire js okay i can start my server and i'm going to the browser i don't need it anymore okay no error okay now i am going to firebase and if you have account you can log in and create the project here i have logged in here i have account here so i am going to create a project add project and i am giving the project name students students it is creating the project and go to the database and this is my project students and i am going to authentication and web setup and copying the script from here and coming back to sublime text and index form and putting the script here and i'm going to save index file okay i'm going to the browser and checking still no error okay so far so good now i'm going to index file making some changes i'm changing is here student students app and here i'm changing the project name student apps students app with angular js and firebase okay and also i am going to change the navigation i'm writing it here home and here add student okay okay and i don't need it anymore i'm saving it and going to the browser student app with angular js plus firebase home and student this is home page and this is page two okay now i am going to page two uh, page two html and i am going to uh, copy some bootstrap form and you can put some bootstrap components in a file and you can use it whenever necessary and it will help you to manage your project with, within a short time so i am going here and i am going to paste it and yeah I'm, i can write student entry form okay and within this form i have uh, i will write it later i have some label and text control uh, name and here name department and label and also i have button one is for save button and another is for cancel button okay let us see and before leaving this page i am saving it and going to the browser and refreshing the browser and this is my entry form okay and i am going to the page 2 js file and i need to write some code here very first thing i need to write dollar scope scope and dollar firebase array and i also need to add here dependency injection firebase and i am going to here to save this uh, form i need to add a function so i am writing ng submit and giving the function name add student and saving it here i added the student here so this is the array so i will pick up every field here with the student array so i am going to paste to dot js and i'm writing the code scop scope dot add student is equal to anonymous function and here i am writing var ref is equal to firebase dot database dot ref and here i am giving students one child node i am adding here and i am writing firebase array and passing the ref and dollar add function and passing dollar scope dot student object 
the object that I created here attached with the different properties or fields here. So I'm getting this object from there from the form or form controls. Okay. And as it will return a promise, then anonymous function and I can write scope dot student dot name is equal to empty string and department and level okay and also another function that is error function console log error okay uh, this is the thing okay i can go to the browser refresh the page and here i have no data into firebase and i am trying to add sikandar rakip department eee level 3 and um, uh, okay one thing the client does not have permission to access the desired data okay so it is very obvious uh, so you'll have to go rules and yeah true and true and publish it and okay and we'll do data and trying to save it again and going there yes we successfully added one data so we'll try another one one data department csa computer science and engineering and the level two save and going here another data okay so we can successfully add our data into our database firebase database now i am going to show this data here into our home page so i am going to page one which is our home page right now it is empty so i am going to copy some bootstrap table i am going to paste it here and here i am going to write student student list okay uh, let me refresh it okay uh, i'm going to here yeah, name and department and level and actions and usually i fix up the width okay and okay here i need to have ng repeat is equal to student in data and here i'm writing student dot name and i'm copying this line and pasting it here student department and level level okay i'm saving it and i need to go to page one js file and here i need to write i'm copying it and pasting it here the same thing okay here don't need this one in stage i'll write dollar scope dot data is equal to firebase array ref and what we are doing here we are getting the reference from firebase database and we are getting the collection of our data into the scope dot data object so we are using this data object into our html page that's why we have written here student in data this data is nothing but this data so we are getting array object here and we are listing the name department and label so let us see what happens i am saving it i am saving also here and going to main page refresh it and going to home page okay scope is not defined oh here i did not give the scope so and also i need to give the firebase array and i also need to give the here firebase firebase 
dependency injection here and here i need to inject scope and also dollar firebase array okay saving it again and going to the browser and refreshing yes we got the data congratulations so you successfully retrieved the data from your firebase so this here we have two data and we got it here so if i go and add another one shakira rakib and civil engineering and level one save it checking it here data has come here and also checking the home page shakira rakib is here okay so we can successfully read our data from the firebase we can successfully add our student or data into the firebase so i think this is the good point to stop so in our next tutorial i will show you how to delete the data and how to edit the data so thank you very much i'll see you next